the Sovereign Military Order of Malta and the United Kingdom's Foreign Commonwealth and their Development Office have formalised an important partnership through a Memorandum of Understanding. This agreement, signed by the Order of Malta's Grand Chancellor and the United Kingdom Ambassador to the Holy See, in the presence of the Grand Master of the Order of Malta, Fra John Damlap, initiates official relations through the exchange of representatives. This is a very significant step in the extension of the Order of Malta's system of international relations. I am confident that this memorandum will only enhance the already close bonds of friendship between the United Kingdom and the Sovereign Order of Malta, providing new occasions to work jointly for the fulfilment of our common objectives, stated the Grand Master. The Grand Chancellor of the Order of Malta, Riccardo Patino di Montecupo, stated, I am confident that the new perspectives offered by this innovative instrument, such as a structural dialogue between our foreign ministries, the designation of official representatives and the possible implementation of joint humanitarian activities in third countries, will open a new chapter in the history of the long-standing relations existing between the United Kingdom and the Order of Malta. Ambassador Christopher Trott expressed his appreciation for the work of the Order of Malta, referring in particular to Ukraine and the Holy Land. In the United Kingdom, the Order of Malta is present with the Grand Priory, established in 1144, and the British Association, established in 1875. It is particularly active in the area of care for the elderly and currently runs over 70 residential homes, specialising in the treatment of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Activities for the homeless and disabled are also numerous. The memorandum outlines areas of cooperation aimed at strengthening bilateral dialogue on a range of issues, including crisis management, international humanitarian assistance and disaster response. Key focus areas include public health, refugee assistance, climate adaptation and third country cooperation in providing humanitarian aid.